Hello students and parents and welcome to this uh, video where we will be talking about the fundamental difference between JE mains and JE advanced. This is an often asked question to us by students and parents both. So here is the answer. Uh, JE mains as you know is the first stage examination that students need to write, engineering experience typically need to write and out of maybe about 14 lakh students who write the JE mains examination. Uh, about 2.5 lakh students are selected and then they appear for the JE advanced examination. As you are well aware, the JE mains examination uh, is an exam required for admission into the NITs. There are almost 31 NITs in the country, almost 27 triple IITs in the country and there are a host of CFTIs or GFTIs, government funded technical institutions and admission to all these NITs triple IITs and JFTIs is on the basis of the JE mains rank. Admission to the IITs, also certain courses in ISC Bangalore, the Indian Institute of Space Technology Tiruvananthapuram is on the basis of the JE advanced examination. Now let us understand the difference in the uh, exams uh, syllabus, difficulty level and pattern. Uh, if you look at the syllabi of JE mains and JE advanced, as on 2024, the syllabus is almost the same. There is only a 0.5% difference between the two examinations. Very few topics are there in the JE mains exam which are not there in advanced or the other way around. By and large 99.5% syllabus is the same. So let us not talk about that difference. Uh, as far as the exam levels difficulty level is concerned, the difficulty level of the questions is concerned, there is a major difference. Uh, so in JE mains you will typically find that there are single concept questions. So, this is the first difference that you would see. So, a question requires clarity on one particular concept in the syllabus or in a particular topic or a chapter. Whereas in J advanced, you will see that questions generally are multiple concept based. So, two, three concepts are needed to solve a particular question. So this is the basic one of the fundamental differences between the level of questions asked in JE mains and JE advanced. Though this is the case in almost one third of the questions of JE advanced, you would still see that those questions are also single concept questions. So it is not that every question of JE advanced is multiple concept question, uh, certain questions are based only on a single concept also which appear in JE advanced. That is why there is some overlap between mains and advanced in terms of difficulty level. A particular question in this overlap region may appear in mains also or may appear in advanced also. But almost two thirds of the J advanced paper definitely has novel questions which test your concepts uh, more than one concept at a time and not necessarily those concepts are from a one particular chapter. From two, three different chapters those concepts may be combined to solve a particular question. So this is one distinguishing feature between the two. Another one is that the JE mains has a fixed exam pattern. So you know that the JE mains exam will have uh, let us say 300 marks, 75 questions, this will be the marking scheme, there will be single answer questions, numerical value questions. So there is a pre-announced fixed exam pattern of JE mains year after year by and large the same pattern has continued. Whereas advanced examination, it is a changing pattern and it is a surprise. So we get to know only on the day of the exam, ki kitne questions aayenge, kitne marks ka paper hai, what type of exam patterns are tried, what is a marking scheme. So there is a, a huge number of permutations combinations possible as far as the patterns in J advanced is concerned. In the last 10 years if you see, the IITs have tried out between 6 to 7 different exam patterns itself. So single answer questions, multiple answer questions, matrix match type, reading comprehension, numerical value questions, integer type questions, even assertion reasoning questions. So therefore different exam patterns are combined and uh, the exam is asked. Uh, it is true that in the last 5 years, the JE May advanced examination has been hovering around the 360 mark. So most question papers have been based out of 360 marks. Uh, one more point is that JE mains is a 3 hour test, physics, chemistry, maths put together, JE advanced it is a 6 hour test, 3 hours, 3 hours, 
paper one, paper two. So there are two separate papers with a gap of two and a half hours in between. Um, as far as the JE mains is concerned, if you crack the JE mains examination, as I mentioned, you will get into the NITs, triple IITs, the GFTIs. Even JE mains has a 15 percent quota in most state engineering colleges, both government and private. So if you want admission in COEP, you can crack JE mains and still get admission in COEP through the 20 percent COEP JE mains quota. Likewise, J advance is an examination to crack the IITs, uh, IIST and also ISC Bangalore. So these are the institutions which you can crack through J advanced examination. So by and large, the fundamental difference between the two examinations is this. Now when it comes to the teaching style, all right, so when you are teaching a particular class or a student are listening to a particular teacher, what is the difference between mains and advanced? This is another question which might possibly come. So when you are teaching or when you are learning the subject, how do I learn from the J mains point of view and how do I learn from the J advanced point of view? So there again, if you see the first point, if you do a large number of practice of single concept questions, you are actually studying for J mains. If you are doing practice of studying a large number of questions from multiple concepts are involved, then again J advanced examination preparation is actually happening. Another point which you should to understand regarding the J mains examination is that uh, here it is possible to use guessing techniques. So intelligent guessing strategies usually work out very well for J mains. That is not the case for J advanced examination. Here we need to do solving only. Very little scope is there for guesswork in J advanced examination. The amount of time that you have typically for one question in J mains is about slightly about 2 minutes because 75 questions and 180 minutes. So if you look at it, it is slightly about 2 plus minutes are there for you to solve a particular question. Whereas in J advanced depending on the pattern, you sometimes get up to 4 minutes to solve a particular question. So by and large, if you can see there are some differences between the two, but one very important point which parents and students must register is that if you train yourself for J advanced, if you train yourself for this set of paradigms, then automatically iska padai ho jata hai. If you can apply multiple concepts to solve a question, then obviously you can use only one concept to solve a question. If you are used to surprise patterns, you can definitely crack fixed pattern exams. If you have the physical and mental stamina to give 6 hour exams, you can definitely crack a 3 hour examination. If you know to solve and also learn some guessing strategies, doing this is definitely possible. Of course, in JE mains also you have to solve, but there is decent room to apply guessing strategies. This is what I meant. And for if difficult questions, if you can crack in 4 minutes, easier questions you can easily get in within 2 minutes per question. So therefore, the way to study for mains is to study for advanced and then do a lot of practice of mock tests for JE mains to optimize the exam strategy for JE mains. So exam strategy dono ke liye alag hota hai, mains and advanced ka. Lekin padhai karne ke liye, while you are studying, you should study as per the JE advanced that helps you for JE mains also. So this is the top down approach which is used. Some teachers and some educators, they advocate a bottom up approach. They say, pehle mains kar lo, uske baad advanced karenge. But aisa hota nahi hai. Because if you study from a mains point of view for a uh, elongated period of time, then adapting yourself to the J advanced paradigm of learning in the last 3-4 months does not work out. So J advanced ka padhai karna hai ek philosophical approach hai, ek ideological approach hai, usko advanced ka multiple concepts combine karke solve karne ka adat hona chahiye. Is adat se aur is pari, uh, tarike se bachche ne padhai kiya, to adapting to J mains level of questions is very easy. It is a piece of cake actually for students. So this is basically the difference between mains and advanced. I hope uh, you have got some more clarity on this matter and would accordingly study and strategize. Thank you very much for watching.